Hello everybody, my name is Zach, aka The Weather Gamer, bringing you week 8 of NCL. Your Chicago Bear Ticks taking on, what is his actual name? Um, it's Mr. Something, but I, sorry. Uh, Lux is his actual name, but he, in the server he's Mr. Yakaz, yes, I don't know. Anyways, um, we are taking him on for week eight. We are in seventh place, tied with Lux. So this game does have some significance as or as potential playoff seating goes. And yes, I know you see two mons here that aren't supposed to be here. Ian updates the sprites um, well ahead of time. Um, but we do not have Kingdra. It is still Flygon. We do not have Aegislash. It is still Crawdont. Um... You're wondering, how did I pick those up? Um, I made some trades. I basically spent the last, like, five days wheeling and dealing with people, just being like, hey, you have free agents, anything of mine you want. Hey, you have free agents, anything of mine you want. Hey, you have free agents, anything of You know, just, somebody help me fix my damn team, please, because, um, don't remember who it was. I think it was Monster, I'm not 100% certain, who dropped them. Let me go look. I can figure it out pretty quickly here. Because they were the ones that sniped me. Wasting time looking for this. Gosh, where are you? Where is the team that's... Is this the team that sniped me? I don't know which team it was. I want to say it was Monster. I can't remember. I'll just go look at NCL right now. Um, for agents. Who dropped it? Sorry, I, I have been doing a lot of wheeling and dealing. Where did the drop happen? There. That's what it was. Yeah, so it was Monster. Uh, Monster ditched his rainy drop, Pelipper, and Kingdra. And I had no moves. I couldn't go pick it up. And luckily... I found someone that was willing to burn their transaction in order to help me, and I'm looking right now. It was Ace. So Ace, if you're watching this, thank you for getting me Kingdra. It fixed my team as far as the rain element. Kingdra, losing Kingdra really screwed me up in the draft, and I talked about that, but getting Kingdra back here is now great. Got rid of Flygon. Unfortunately, I don't have ground type again. I was working really, really hard to get a ground type. Couldn't get someone to make a deal with me without having to give up Zara Aura, which I wouldn't do without getting Zeb Strika. They wouldn't give me Zeb Strika and the ground type I wanted, so I'm running this season without a ground type. I don't like it. Makes me uneasy, but, you know, it is what it is. So, but because of that, once I picked up Kingdra, I was super, super fairy weak and super, super uh, electric weak because I still had Prod on, on the team too. Um, so I found somebody that was going to drop Aegislash, which I believe was Dom, and I'm just going to double check that again real quick, but I believe it was Dom. Yes, Dom was going to get rid of Aegislash, I said, hey, will you just give me Aegislash and get rid of um, Crawdont since you're already going to play, you already plan to drop Aegislash and I don't have any transactions to go pick it up. And so he said, sure, I'll trade you Aegislash and he took Crawdont and dropped it for me. So thank you also to Dom. Thank you to Dom. Thank you to Ace. Both of you for using your moves to help me get my team better. Thank you to Tiffany for at least entertaining the idea. Um, same with Amish. Same with Ronin can't think of who else I was talking to off the top of my head, but they were open to giving me 
a transaction in order to help me get this team settled. So really appreciate that. Really makes me feel like I belong in NCL. Back to what we're supposed to be doing here, team builder. So the team we have is Mega Glade, Genesect, Zero Aura, Politoed, Flygon, not Kingdra, Kabutops, Garbodor, Gudra, Comfey, Crawdont, not Aegislash, and Town of Flame. So those transactions go into effect next week. Lux has Megalope, Thundi or Thornty. I don't know why I always call it Thundi Thornty. Slowbro, Fortress, Alolan Muck, Rotom, Palisand, Zygarde, Slurp, Lycanroc, and Delphox. Uh, I think Lope comes. It suffers four, mo four move slot syndrome, but Lope just can punch through me pretty quickly. I think Thornty comes so he can use the rain with Hurricane. I think Rotom Mo comes just because it shuts my rain down super, super hard. I think Alolan Muck comes because, if you didn't notice from last week, um, I got really, really salty with Toxic Stall again. Way out of control and way over salty. I have a feeling Alolan Muck's going to try to just curse cycle on me. Curse cycle Toxic something. So I think that's coming just to get me. Fortress makes sense because it can abuse rain and set hazards. Palo Sand makes sense because of water compaction. Zygarde makes a lot of sense because I am ground weak. Slurp makes a lot of sense because I am fairy weak. I'm very, very worried about like Z Belly Drum or Belly Drum Slurp. That thing does scare me. I don't foresee Lycanroc coming. I don't foresee Delphox coming. But any of Slowbro also doesn't make a ton of sense unless it's like Grass Knot. But I definitely see any of these um, eight right here coming for sure. So that is my NC or my um, LTPL team. Sorry about that. Forgot I was transitioning, which that video is coming out later, but I've already played that match, so it doesn't matter. So first up, we have Choice Specs, Confe, Defog, Aromatherapy, Trick, Draining Kiss. Yes, I know it's weird. I'm running Mono Attack Specs. It's because I want to try and trick that Mach. Uh, Mach's his best answer. If I can trick the specs onto Mach, I can cripple it. Disable it. It can't curse stall me. Um, specs is the worst thing I can give it. So by being able to trick that specs, it'd be a hell of a lot better. So that's why that's there. Really, Kung Fu doesn't have that great of a match. Um, Draining Kiss is nice because it hits the Low Punny for priority. Hits Zygarde for priority. Um, super effective, but the rest of them don't really care. Um, aromatherapy is to stop that muck from toxic stalling. If for some reason he's, like, Z-muck or something, um, if I can get Comfy in and aromatherapy, I can at least cure some poisons and get them out of here. And then defog, because I need hazard removal for Talonflame, so... And Flygon isn't running hazard removal. Shoutouts to Rai for... Rise. Raisachi, sorry, not Rai, Raisachi for the uh, Genesect set here. We went back and forth a lot with this Genesect trying to figure out what we were going to do, but we eventually settled on Chill Drive. Um, with, so it's Ice, Techno Blast, Bug Buzz, Iron Head, Flamethrower. Um, the attack stat and the special attack stat were all we needed uh, once I got the plus one boost from download to Oko or two shot everything. Um, speed stat wise, we are faster than Adamant. Zygarde, but not um, Jolly Guard, so we'll know if he is um, Jolly Zygarde if he hits me first, or he's Scarf or something. But we're definitely faster than Adamant. Um, the Flamethrower is to clip out Rotom Mo. Um, Slurp doesn't necessarily appreciate it. Fortress, it's the Urda Fortress too. Um, Technoblast for Therian, Technoblast for Rotom, Technoblast for Zygarde. I'm really afraid of, like, sub D-Dance Zygarde, which is why I wanted to be faster than Adamant Guard as well. Technoblast for Palosand. Um, Iron Head for the Slurp Puff, which, if he's not Belly Drum and he's Sticky Web Slurp, it's definitely going to be carrying Flamethrower in order to take out Genesect. Um, so I need to scout for that a little bit, too. And then Bug Buzz, if he is AV Muck, I'll know because Bug Buzz won't do enough to him. If he is Curse Muck, then Bug Buzz should rip through him for a good chunk. 
so that's where Genesex sits. We are Scarfed Flygon with Stone Edge Dragon Claw Earthquake in the U-turn. I don't want to Scarf into the Dragon Claw until Slurp goes down because, you know, free um, Belly Drum. And after that, I'm screwed. Especially if I lose Town of Flame or I don't have Rain Up. Um, I can't get him back. Uh, max attack. Speed stat wise, we are faster than um, Adamant. Or Jolly Zygarde. We're faster than Jolly Zygarde. So I'll know if he is Jolly Zygarde. Or Scarf Zygarde, for sure, if I hit him there. Stone Edge, Dragon Claw, Earthquake, U-Turn, so U-Turn for Pivoting, Stone Edge for Torn, Earthquake for Stone Edge for Rotom, U-Turn for Rotom, um, Earthquake for the two down here. Um, Flygon's just got to come in and hit hard and pivot around and let me get into other things. So. Uh, we have Life Orb, Kabutop, Swords Dance, X Scissor, Liquidation, Stone Edge, uh, max, max Attack, Speed Stat, Outside of Rain, I Outspeed Slurp. Unless it's max speed. No, I do outspeed slurp. So this thing outspeeds slurp under every condition. Um, in rain, it's faster than slurp. In rain, it's faster than plus two Zygarde, I believe. Um, I think Scarf Torn T is the only thing faster than it. Um, otherwise, it outspeed. Uh, Scarf. No, in rain, I'm out speeding Scarf Rotom. So um, if I can get a dance off. In the rain, X Scissor cleans up the Rotom, Liquidation, and Stone Edge clean up everything else in rain. Um, Fortress is his only thing that really sits in the way of um, Kabutops going to town once it gets a sword dance up in the rain. However, Talonflame takes care of that. Um, I'm Fly Z. I'm not Swords Dance Fly Z, though. Um, I am 216 speed jolly, that way I'm faster than Torn, so I'll know if he's Scarf Torn. Uh, with Taunt, Roost, U-Turn, Brave Bird, the Fly Z Brave Bird is just to hit really, really hard, um, get an extra Gale Wings, then I Brave Bird from there, U-Turn to pivot, because Palo Sand comes in pretty cleanly on this, doesn't really take anything from it, um, Zygarde doesn't necessarily care. Um, Lycanroc doesn't necessarily care. Defensive Slowbro doesn't necessarily really care. So U-Turning is my best bet there. Roost to get me back to full to get my Gale Wings restored after I Brave Bird. And Taunt because I do not want him getting things set up on me. I'm going to Taunt the Palo Sand so it keeps rocks. I'll Taunt the Zygarde so it can't dance. I'll Taunt the Lycanroc so it can't Swords Dance. I'll Taunt the damn Muck if he's Defensive Muck. If he's Curse Muck, it's probably his best bet to bring in against Talonflame. So I will curse it and stop it from Toxic Stall on me. So this is my answer to trying to Toxic Stall, is I have Taunt, Talonflame, and Comfey. So Finally, we have Max Defense, Politoed with Drizzle, Ice Beam Haze, Rest Talk, um, the Rocky Helmet. This is also supposed to shut down Curse, um, curse Toxic Muck. Like toxic stall muck um, just because if he toxics me I go to sleep he has to knock me off and take rocky helmet damage if he tries to curse up on me I haze him I sleep talk him uh, sleep talk haze if I go to sleep and he starts building up and ice beam hits everything super super hard um, outside of um, this little thing Delphox like in Rocky Fortress so they're the only ones that really really stop me from sleep talking ice beam hits everything else really effectively so but with all that being said thank you guys for watching that's the team builder hopefully we can pick up a win um keep rolling um three out of my next five opponents have losing records um lux here is four and three with me and i think there's someone else who's three and four that i still have to play but after that three of my opponents combined have one win between the three of them so i should make playoffs i should finish with a decent record i can't sleep on it but this right now is one of the most important games of the season so thank you guys for watching check out the links in the description below and i'll see you guys next time